Hello grade 11s. Today we will be starting with the gradient and inclination of a straight line. It's from the slide analytical geometry and the slide numbers will be 39 to 46. Now before we go into any of the uh, the problems on that let me rather discuss what is an angle of inclination. An angle of inclination is the angle that the straight line makes with the x-axis. And we always measure it on the top of the x-axis, never at the bottom. So here's your x-axis for both of these graphs. We look at the top of it. So we're always looking in that section there. Then it's always on the right of the straight line. So up at the top and at the right of the straight line. There is our angle of inclination. Likewise with this one, at the top of the x-axis, on the right of the straight line. That is your angle of inclination. And all it means is it means what is the angle between the x-axis and the straight line. Now, how do we calculate this? Well, we know that the gradient of a line, M, is equal to y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. In other words, we can say delta y over delta x. In other words, the changing y over the changing x. Now we know another trig function that has that ratio of y to x, and it's tan. So we know that tan of an angle is equal to y over x. Therefore, we know that tan theta will be equal to your gradient. And that is the formula for your angle of inclination. So if we go through an example, example one, it's telling us determine part one, the gradient between these two points, A minus three, five, and our second point is B to zero. So we have to find the gradient between these two points. So the gradient AB will be equal to Y2 minus Y1 over X2 minus X1. Now, because this is our first point, this will be X1, Y1. Our second point, X2, Y2. All I do, substitute those into this formula. So our y2 value is 0 minus our y1 value is 5 all over our x2 value is 2 minus our x1 value is minus 3. So if we work that out, we get 0 minus 5 is minus 5 over 2 minus minus 3 becomes 2 plus 3, which gives us 5. Therefore, the gradient of AB is equal to minus 1. The second part of the question is, determine the inclination of the line joining these two points. So, the inclination is the angle that this line would make with your x-axis. Now we know that tan theta will be equal to the gradient of our line, A, B. So we get tan theta is equal to minus 1 from here. Now in order to work out an angle, remember what you do grade 11s? You go on your calculator, shift tan minus 1. And I'll do it over here for you. So we go shift tan, make sure that you get that minus 1 there, of minus 1, and press equals, and we get an angle of minus 45. Now, if you get an, a negative angle, grade 11s, you must add 180 to it in order to get a positive uh, degrees. So, if we add 180 to this, 
we get an angle of 135. And that is our angle of inclination for this line here. If we look at question, this was question A. If we look at question B, it's the same question, just different points. And they are asking, uh, find the gradient between the two points, which are C minus 2 minus 3. And our second point is D, which is 3 and minus 1. So let's find the gradient, which will be Y2 minus Y1 over x2 minus x1 our first point so this is x1 y1 our second point x2 y2 we're just going to substitute these values into the equation so our y2 value is minus 1 minus our y1 value minus 3 over our x2 value is 3 minus our x1 value is minus 2. Minus 1 minus minus 3 becomes 1 plus, sorry, minus 1 plus 3, which gives us 2. 3 minus minus 2 becomes 3 plus 2, which gives us 5. So now we know what the gradient is. Now in order to work out the angle of inclination, that is going to be equal to the gradient of our line. So we get tan theta is equal to 2 over 5. In order to work out theta, you take your calculator and you go shift tan, that number over there, 2 over 5. And we get an angle of 21.8, rounded off to one decimal place. Now, grade 11s, because we got a positive uh, degrees here, not like the previous one, I leave my answer just like that. Grade 11s, I would like you to do exercise 4.5, number 1 and 2. Thank you.